uh, the Bible tells us, the king says, verse number 21, Second Samuel chapter 14, the king said to Joab, very well, I will do it. Go and bring back the young man Absalom. And then the Bible also says, verse number 28, I thank God. Absalom lived two years in Jerusalem without seeing the king's face. Then Absalom, amen? I mean, I'm glad the situation didn't remain like that. The status quo changed at some point in time. Uh, he, go, it, he was comfortable for some time to just have been brought. But at a point in time, he came. Like the prodigal son who finally bumps into himself. <laughs> Coming to his senses. And shakes himself and says, what am I doing here? So Absalom says, this is not normal. How can I be in Jerusalem interacting with people that see my father's face every day? Some of them are just servants. I'm his son, and yet I don't see my father's face. Then Absalom sent for Joab, the military general who engineered his being brought back. Said, this is the guy who has to take me to my father. And so the Bible says, Absalom sent for Joab in order to send him to the king. But Joab refused to come to him. So he sent for him a second time, but still he refused to come. <laughs> then he said to his servants, this is Absalom, and he says, look guys, do you remember that field, field of mine, and the one next to it belongs to Joab? And there's barley that is about to be harvested. Please go and set it on fire. So Absalom's servants went and set the field on fire. Then Joab did go to Absalom's house and said to him, why have your servants set my field on fire? <laughs> oh, Absalom, there are some things that will never happen until some fields are on fire. There are certain things that will never happen as long as the barley is intact. And so he says, go and, because twice I've sent for this guy, but he doesn't want to come. And at this time, Absalom is itching to see his father now. It's now coming out of himself. And he says, no one is going to stop me. I want to see my father. And this is a demand that I have. Now, look at this here. Joab is the one who planned the whole thing for Absalom to come back, to come to Jerusalem. He went to Gesha, very far away place. But he refuses to go to Absalom's house in the same city so that Absalom can meet his father. The devil has no problem with you coming from Amashiosi and things like that. And you come into church. He has no problem. So long you don't see the father's face. It's okay. It would have been better for you to remain in those things than to come and then you don't see the father's face. Absalom says, no, I can't take this. You better be kidding. How can you bring me from Gesha only to disallow me from seeing my father? Are you kidding me? Job says, but why did your servants burn my face? I said, no, that's not the topic today. You're off topic. The topic, I want to see my father's face. Until we get to that point, brothers and sisters, where we say we are not going to allow anything, any giant, any military general, any kind of problem to stand between me and my God. And sometimes it's no pushover. It's not easy. Some relationships have to go up in smoke before we can see our father's face. There are certain emails that have to be deleted for good. There are things that have to go up in smoke before we can see our father's face. Brothers and sisters, where you are as we go to Akun Gain Wing Emitwalo, Chia Pants Emitwalo Yaku, Lungisin Dabasako no Jesu. Nini? Kona manji. 